Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be testing out Colossus. Now, there used to be a show that would test the claims of different products that you would see in the uh, commercials. I remember Crazy Glue, strong enough to hold this man in midair, uh, where you had this worker, he put some Crazy Glue on his hat, and he was able to hang there. And this TV show actually reached out to the company. The company gave them all the specifications of the test and they performed the test on their show. And it turned out that it was actually correct. You know, they had the right weight and everything. Well, I've heard that Colossus can take out Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends on auto fight. So I was curious to see how well Colossus could do this. So. I checked and one of the things that I was told is that as you see I'm doing here, you don't auto fight from the start. You build up to a special three, fire that special three off and then turn on auto fight. So that's what you're seeing me do here and I'll do that throughout the video. Uh, you're gonna watch four different fights of Colossus. So this first fight, he has full synergy team. You saw the team that I went in there with. He's getting extra damage per armor up and all kind of goodies. But I am running suicides. You see that I have uh, that poison debuff on me. Uh, he's immune to bleed. But it also means that every time I fire off a special one or two, or rather the AI does, I'm going to be taking damage, about 5%. So with his first fight, I'm very curious to see how Colossus handles himself. Now, of course, there's a little bit of RNG involved. Uh, the AI doesn't always fight the same way. And especially Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends, he tends to fight a little bit passively. Uh, but you can see here, Colossus is giving as good as he gets. Colossus is actually the first true tank to come to the contest. And what do I mean by a true tank? I mean that he can both deal and receive a lot of damage. So in most games, when you refer to a tank, it's usually a character that can take a lot of damage. And some games will allow you to rebuild that character and so instead of being able to take a lot of damage they can dish out a lot of damage but it's usually sacrificing the ability to receive a lot of damage i know world of warcraft when i used to play that uh, that's one of the things they did with the warrior who was a tank but you could you know respec him in such a way that he did a lot more damage but he couldn't take a lot of damage. He gave up a lot of the ability to receive damage. But that's not how true tanks usually work. They can usually dish out the damage and take them. All right, so here the first fight, boom. Colossus knocked out Realm of Legends Winter Soldier on auto fight. So this was promising. How many other champions do you know that can do this impressive right so this next fight i still have suicides on but i wanted to see just how much of a difference his synergy teams made so same fight but without his teammates giving him all those wonderful synergies and we will see how he does here so he's going to be doing less damage i'm still running suicides but a lot of the synergies gave him some extra damage so he's going to be hitting less uh, i believe he'll be critting less which means he will be doing less damage overall you can see he's doing some crits in here um but i don't think he's doing as much damage as when he had that synergy team so that means he needs to last a little bit longer and again there's a little rng so 
Colossus recently got a rework and I took him to rank five with no regrets. He's got a lot of immunities that I needed. Uh, it filled a hole in my roster. At rank five, I didn't have a lot of champions that had the immunities that he has. So it was a perfect fit. All right, but his damage, I was looking at uh, some of the synergies and he's got some great synergies. And, and you saw that in the previous uh, matchup, but he's not looking all that impressive here on auto fight without those synergies. Now, one of the things that I say is a little RNG, when Colossus is awakened, you know, people ask me whether Colossus needs to be awakened or not. Uh, and the answer is yes and no. It depends. If you're in a long fight like this one, then his awakened ability is very, very good. So what his awakened ability does, you see that he's getting those armor up buffs. Uh, when he's awakened, there is a chance, this is the RNG, there's a chance that when he gains an armor up buff, it will become permanent. So that means that as a fight goes on, he will get more armor up buffs and they will become permanent. And I forget, I think it's a max of 20. Uh, it might be 20, it might be 30, uh, I forget. But in any case, the longer the fight goes on, that means that he's gonna be doing more damage and he's gonna be able to take more damage. But as you see here, the recoil is eating him up and the RNG is not really in his favor. Uh, he's got some good armor ups though. You know, he's up to 13, sorry, 10 right now. Looks a little funny on, on the uh, monitor that I'm uh, watching this fight back on, but that is what his awakened ability is supposed to do. Now that special three, you'll see it doesn't do crazy amounts of damage, but you see that extra one, that armor up there, all right? And you can see he's taking quite a bit of damage. So even though he's not looking like he's gonna win this fight, you can still see his tankiness. You can still see just how much damage he can take. Now, when this fight was over, I was like, well, I was gonna end the uh, video with just those two fights. But I said, you know, he took a lot of damage with the uh, recoil. And it just so happens that placement in Alliance War, the new season, is here. And I believe we might be trying to, you know, win all the wars here again. Uh, I'm asking and, and I'm wanting to find out but I decided to place without suicides. That's something that I usually do when we are serious about war, but I'm not sure whether we are or not. And I thought, you know what? This is the perfect time to test him out without the suicides, okay? So the mighty Colossus got knocked out. Now in RNG's favor, another test may yield better results but I only did this one time. I wasn't gonna sit here uh, doing this too many times. So just bear that in mind. The uh, sample size is very, very small. So if you really wanna see how well he does, you would have to perform this test hundreds, thousands of times to get a really good idea, all right? But it gives us a, a decent uh, idea of Colossus, all right? So now this next fight, You'll see that I don't have that poison debuff up there. He is not running suicides now. I took them off to place my defenders and I said, let me perform these tests again now that I don't have my suicides on. All right. So you can see here, I'm trying to uh, do the same thing as with all the other tests, you know, build up to that special three and then I will go ahead and hit the uh, auto fight and let Colossus do his thing. And I believe this one, he still has the uh, synergy team. So this one, 
he's fighting with his synergy team, but without suicide. So you can compare this third video with the very, I mean, the uh, third fight with the first fight. If you want to see synergy teams with and without suicides. But one thing I can tell you already, I can see the difference. Look at his health compared to Winter Soldier's health. All right, and yes, there is a bit of RNG in here. Of course, it's the AI and Realm of uh, Legends, Winter Soldier and Colossus are both, you know, fighting randomly, I would say. You know, they don't fight the same way each time you go in there. But you can see Colossus is doing a whole lot better already even without suicides so hopefully that will help somebody out you know if you're not running suicides colossus is a beast if you're running suicides colossus is a beast so the conclusion is yes colossus is a beast all right so not sure if you guys uh knew this already but Colossus recently got a rework. He got a rework along with Old Man Logan. And it was a shame because for most people, the rework of Colossus was far better than the rework for Old Man Logan. The Old Man Logan rework was still good. Uh, I recently pulled him from a crystal and I'm very happy to get him. You know, I don't know where I will use him just because my roster is the way it is. But with Colossus, with all those immunities that they added to him, it was insane. You know, he's not immune to poison, but if he had been immune to poison, I don't know. That might have been a bit too much, you know. But again, I'm looking here. And I'm like, okay, he's got armor ups. Now, look at his armor ups right now. He's at 12, but they're permanent. Okay, remember what I told you about the... Uh... All right, let me see. They're 20. All right, remember what I told you about the awakened ability. So you see here, he's got 20, but they're not all permanent. So you see they're ticking down. All right, so he went down to 12 here, but those 12 are permanent. All right, now he got 13, but it's not a permanent one. So you can see it starting to uh, tick away. But as the fight goes on, there's still a chance, and, and it's still RNG, but there's a chance that it will become permanent. All right, boom, look at that. It just became permanent. So he got 13, it wasn't permanent. It started counting down, it was expiring, and now it's permanent. Okay, it doesn't always happen, but you got to see that one in action, all right? Now he's got 14. So each of his armor ups is giving him damage. And with the synergy team, he's doing even more damage. And now it's permanent. And he's able to take a lot of damage. Boom, knocked out. All right, so in the first fight, he had his synergy team and he did well, knocked out winter soldier second fight um he didn't have his synergy team and he got knocked out he was running suicides in the first two fight fights this one he wasn't running suicides synergy team without suicides he did well now the final fight we're going to see how he does without his synergy team and spoiler he doesn't do so well so my conclusion from this testing and you can leave a comment below let me know whether you agree with my conclusions uh or uh if you have another take on it uh if you also have any tests that you would like me to perform leave a comment and i will see what i can do i can't promise that i will uh, be able to do the test but if it's something uh, rather simple or 
uh, it's against someone that I can get to pretty easily, I'll be happy to go ahead and uh, knock that out for you. But my conclusions is that Colossus is a beast, okay? With and without suicides, he is a beast. What this here, you know, it's just for fun, but it also showcases his damage, his uh, tankiness. But what it is showing me is that the synergies add a ton to Colossus. That is the conclusion that I came uh, from, what I got from this testing. You know, the first fight, it had suicides on, so he was going to do more damage there, but he was also going to be taking damage every special. But he had um, he had his uh, synergy team, and you can look back and see the synergy team, but the synergy team gave him extra damage per uh, armor up and uh, more crit and that sort of thing. Uh, more attack. Um, I added in, I believe, Doctor Strange that added some more attack in there. So... That synergy team was a very, very good one uh, for Colossus. He did so much more damage, okay? Uh, when I turned, when I went in here with just Colossus, no synergies active, uh, he was still tanky. I can still beat Winter Soldier with Colossus without synergies. He's still impressive. Uh, we're just doing the auto fight here and You know, he just didn't do so well with the auto fight now if I went in here with uh, Without any synergies and I performed that test several times I'm not sure whether Colossus could have won that might be something that you guys can test out you know um, if you have a rank 5 Colossus try running auto fight you know, build up to the special three and fire it off, then go to auto fight and see how he does. And just keep doing it over and over again. See if you can manage to beat Winter Soldier. Now, at this point, I still have not seen the video that started all of this. OK, I just heard about it. Uh, in fact, I heard about it on Brian Grant's channel and he was testing in this same way but I, I don't think he fired off the special three initially i can't remember but i remember watching that and i'm like you know what that might be something interesting to uh test out and that's what inspired me to make uh this video uh and i wanted to test out you know, four different fights with and without suicide, synergies and no synergies uh, to get a better feel for uh, what Colossus could do, at least, you know, in auto fight. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I believe you can see here how the fight is going to go. It's not going to go well for our big boy Colossus. But even in defeat, I hope you guys can see what a beast he is. How many of your champions do you know that could last this long against Winter Soldier on auto fight? All right, and remember this last one, look at that, Winter Soldier just evaded or, or stepped back from all of his specials. That, I mean, all hits of that special just wasn't right, but it might do better. Um, he might do better in another fight. You know, it is RNG. All right, um, but I don't know of any other character that can do quite this well on auto fight. All right, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any suggestions or tests you'd like to see. And you all have a blessed day.